Hey guys, this is my list for easy care succulents. I'm going to be sharing six of the best and easiest to care for succulents in no particular order. If you're looking for a comprehensive crucial care uh, video on any which one of these plants, check the description box down below or if you don't see one, let me know and maybe I can create a crucial care video for uh, some of these plants that I don't have one for just yet. I keep most of these plants in a south facing window because most of these succulents do appreciate some bright direct sunlight. However, there are a few that do prefer more of a bright and direct situation, in which case I just inset them um, from that same south facing window. Now, the great thing about all of these plants is that they don't need to be fussed over, they don't need to be watered, you know, every third day or anything crazy like that. Um, that being said, you don't want to completely forget about them, but these are easy care plants that uh, thrive with you know, little intervention. Right at the top of my list for easy care succulents is definitely aloe vera. Now, this is uh, a plant that I've had since 2016, believe it or not. I picked this up at a Whole Foods, I believe, for around five or $6.99, and it's just done so well and grown considerably ever since. Now, the only really con the only considerations uh, that you might make for an aloe vera is uh, that bright and direct light, not really um, keeping them too close to a window or in too much direct sunlight. And the only other thing really worth mentioning is that you, uh, like most succulents, have a really well draining uh, soil mix. I've used just simply some Lecca balls and Akidema and it's basically thriving. These are, aloe vera are one of those plants that you can really almost forget about and they will do really well. So as I said, right at the top of my list, definitely an easy care uh, succulent. Next on my list is this plant right here. This is a prickly pear cactus. Now these are actually invasive in some parts of the world and it's exactly that pervasiveness that makes them uh, easy to care for and really uh, easy growing plants uh, in your home. Now I've also had this one for quite some time and it's grown considerably uh, since getting it. I had a wee little plant originally and this one has been potted up in a sort of fine bark mix so again something super well draining this definitely loves the sun so i have this uh right next to a south facing window and i just love um you know the way that it's growing and i would love to have a really large prickly pear i think they're very aesthetically pleasing and a great house plant the ponytail palm is another great easy care succulent this is my plant right here and uh one great thing to know about these plants is that they don't really grow um, too much in size from the time that you've purchased them um, from the nursery. Um, you know, they contain uh, and retain a lot of water um, in their sort of bulbous uh, stem and root system, so they don't need to be watered super frequently. You will see a lot of new growth, obviously, in um, this grass-like uh, foliage, and that's where it gets the name uh, Ponytail Palm. Keep these guys in a south-facing window, so uh, they will do best there. And again, I've potted my Ponytail Palm up in a really sort of rocky, gritty um, soil mix, and it's been doing absolutely fantastically. Thanks for checking out this video. I'm Tyler, and if you like what you're seeing or you find this video to be useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, or better yet, you can subscribe to my channel. I've recently started vlogging and have a few videos up on my channel, so please check those out. And these vlogs are a great way to share some behind the scenes, some travel, and also some plant decor and plant styling everything that I'm doing day to day. So yeah, I'm really excited to be sharing these vlogs and if you haven't yet already seen any, 
uh, go to my page and check out a couple there. And just really quickly, uh, some housekeeping. I'm going to be releasing new vlogs on Mondays and I'll be keeping uh, my other videos coming out on Wednesdays and Saturdays. So if you have any comments or questions on any of this, don't hesitate to comment down below. It's greatly appreciated. All right, guys, so this is definitely another favorite of mine and is an easy care for uh, succulent. This is the vertical leaf Senecio. Um, Some call it a propeller plant. Um, either way, it's super easy to care for. Um, I've got this potted up again in just some sort of medium or fine grade bark. That just means the bark's a little bit smaller, so something super well draining. I do keep mine in a south facing window and it was like literally this big um, when I got it. It's tripled or quadrupled in size and I absolutely love it. Now I'm keeping it in this uh, clush on the um, table behind me and I think it looks so cool in the glass and that will help um, give it some extra humidity. I'm not sure if, if it even needs extra humidity, but um, it seems to be doing just fine in there. And it doesn't need to be watered very frequently. Like I said, these are all easy care plants. Um, and yeah, it's just done super well. Growing really tall, I'm lucky that I have just the one stem. I think it looks even more sort of intense and interesting um, that way, but this Senecio, which is in the same family as like the string of pearls, string of dolphins, and those um, other types of um, plants which are not so easy to care for. This is very easy and I love my vertical leaf Senecio. And one final point when it comes to this vertical leaf Senecio is um, it will let you know when it, when it needs to be watered. The leaves will sort of get to a little bit wrinkled and that's a great indication that it's time to give it a thorough watering. But other than that, it's kind of just looks really cool and doesn't need that much attention. Up next is this lady finger cactus. And I feel like everyone's had one of these at some point in time. They are totally undervalued and I think these cactuses are great. Now, out of all of the plants that I've shown you these thus far, um, this must be the easiest of them all. Um, these are truly can be forgotten about, set aside. As long as they're getting a good amount of uh, sunlight, I keep mine again um, in a south facing window and it has a, a gritty soil mix, so something that's very well draining. Um, and when I do water it, I notice a lot of new growth. So they're super easy to keep happy. If you're somebody who's looking for a succulent to have where it can just be there and you don't have to worry about it, then I would definitely recommend a lady finger cactus. Last, but definitely and not least, is the Christmas cactus. Now I've had my Christmas cactus for a couple of years and I, again, it was a super small plant and it's grown quite a bit in the last couple of years. Um, these plants are amazing because they can live forever. They can have such a long span. They can get to really large sizes and their blooms are just amazing. So I keep mine in an east facing window, so not um, south. And that means that this plant gets a lot of um, really great morning light. So no harsh afternoon sunlight. And this is in a slightly, still a well-draining um, soil mix, but slightly different. I've included, I believe, some um, cocoa coir and um, peat moss in there, as well as some bark and grit. And you can fertilize these with some um, bloom fertilizer to encourage them um, to bloom annually. Um, and they do that in and around the Christmas time, and that's where they get their name from. Um, and I can't wait uh, for this guy to start blooming. But again, you can see there is a ton of new growth. It's all that lighter green, um, uh, these little segments that it's growing. And, you know, I credit that to the east facing window. I think it just absolutely loves it. Um, these ones you will want to water a little bit more than your regular um, succulent, but again, this isn't a plant that I fuss over. It's very easy to care for, and anyone can grow these. 
So yeah, I love my Christmas cactus. If you're interested in more content like this, give this video a thumbs up or leave a comment down below. And to really show me some love, click the bell for alerts and notifications for future content. Well, that's it for me. Oh yeah, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up or hit the subscribe button. Miss you guys already. Until the next one.